changes that you probably noticed this morning. Sun was up just a little bit earlier for you and now setting dark at 522. So some changes with that time change. We, what hasn't changed though is this freeze warning. We've had one over the last few days and we're going to keep it in place. We're expecting to see some more of those rural out areas deal with those low 30s to near freezing conditions, if not for a few hours, several hours for some. And you're looking at 50 degrees right now in Winston-Salem, 51 in Greensboro, 43 in Galax with winds that have calmed down. So a big change from yesterday where we were still a little breezy early morning and gusty at times in the mountains. Highs today 58 degrees, so this is a little lower than we'd like to see this time of the year. 65 is the average now as we stretch out into most of the week. We're going to begin to see temperatures bump up early tomorrow morning. It's pretty cold. 32 degrees as we mentioned. Freeze warnings likely in place for many in the triad and a few folks who have not seen those freezing temperatures will have a chance to do that. Foothills and mountains though you're still cold, although we're talking about temperatures later in the day warming. We start out in the freezing zone for you too. You don't have warnings because your growing season has already ended, so you won't see any more of those warnings or advisories. You've got 54 degrees at lunchtime, 59 later in the afternoon, light south wind, and those clouds are stacking up. So everyone's going to see a bit more cloud cover later in the day, and it's all thanks to a cold front coming in. Unfortunately, this one comes in dry too. It doesn't look to bring as much in the way of moisture. Starting out at 28 to 53 degrees, lots of sunshine here, and your hour by hour forecast shows that we have a pretty mild day on tap. Once we get you out of those chilly 30s in the morning where you need to dress in layers, highs in the upper 50s to near 60, we don't have a lot of cloud cover stacking up entirely until we get you into the early morning hours, but that might keep you a bit more mild in spots, and the wave of moisture that's rolling through is so limited. Folks in West Virginia may be lucky to get a shower with that. That system too. So we'll watch for a few clouds filling in and overall we've got a nice dry forecast and temperatures that remain mild all the way through middle of the week and even Thursday. So we don't see big temperature changes until then. The rainfall total still looking to come up overnight Thursday into Friday morning. We should see anywhere from a quarter of an inch to possibly half an inch for just a few folks who get those good soaking showers. Right now, though, it looks to be an overnight situation. Morning lows, they're getting a little bit better for us over the next few days. We'll watch with temperatures fluctuating in the upper 30s. Something else to watch for now that we're in November, the lean Ned meteor shower will begin as we head from November 6th through November 30th, and we'll begin to see after our full moon coming up here in a few days. We've got November 18th as that peak time for these meteors. It's going to be beautiful viewing in between those shower chances in these cold fronts rolling through so clear skies and you'll be able to see that starting on the 6th and coming up next Saturday 559 we're going to see the International Space Station hopefully at 28 degrees above the horizon so it's still a little low but if you've got a lot of leaves off the trees you might have a chance to see that space station passing by all right 38 degrees as we look ahead into next weekend we got you at 44 at one o'clock and jacket weather for your weekend forecast and next Sunday we're talking about temperatures near freezing 50 degrees at noontime and 54. So it's a chilly day to start the weekend on Saturday, but starting to moderate as we head into Sunday of next week. Both days looking pretty dry out there. Let's show you that seven day forecast. You can see here we've got temperatures in those 60s with your rain chances extending late Thursday night into your early Friday morning with temperatures that really plummet and hang out in the 40s. We may see more clouds mixing in on Friday before we have a chance to clear. Some 20s thrown into for morning lows by next Saturday cool and dry, similar to this weekend. Looking like a great nice warm up though through middle of the week.